What's going on guys, welcome back to 100% NUFC, I hope I find you really well. So breaking news coming from the football club, Rolanda Ahrens has signed on loan for League One club Wigan Wanderers until January. And what do I make of this? I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed uh, with the move if I'm honest with you. I'm disappointed with Steve Bruce, I'm also disappointed uh, with the club. I feel like it's a little bit disrespectful towards Rolanda Ahrens because I believe you know, that he's better than League One. And that's no disrespect to Wigan Wanderers. I believe that they've got a good player on their hands. And I believe, you know, they're doing well in League One. And that can only add to their quality that they've got within their squad to try and get promoted to the Championship. But Rolanda Ahrens, for me, I believed at that time when Steve Bruce got the job that he would have gave Rolanda Ahrens that chance to try and break into the first team this summer. Because, you know, he's a local lad, Steve Bruce, and so is Rolanda Ahrens. And I believe that when you have a local manager in charge that you are most likely going to give the local lads a chance to break into the first team. I know Rolanda Ahrens hasn't been brilliant in terms of breaking into the first team. I know he's been out and about, you know, to the likes of Italy. He's been to Sheffield Wednesday in the championship and he would have knew the demands of the championship because, you know, it's a better level for him. What I'm saying is, if Rolanda Ahrens was going to go out on loan, he should have went to the championship because I believe it's a better standard of football. You're playing against clubs that... We're in the Premier League, you're playing against ex-Premier League professionals and you're playing against championship players who want to be in the Premier League and try and thrive and do well you know, in their careers. And I believe that Steve Bruce, for me, should have put Rolanda Ahrens in the 25-man squad. I didn't see anything at the time, but I believe that he's always been you know, there and thereabouts. He's always been within distance reach of getting into the first-team picture. And the last thing that we wanted to do was let Rolanda Ahrens go on loan now that we're sort of weak in the wing area, losing maximum uh, for a while and also losing Matt Ritchie, who pulled up against Leicester City. So, But then again, at the same time, when the 25-man squad was announced, we weren't aware that we were going to get injuries in that area and uh, we should have done anything to try and, um, well, keep Rolanda Ahrens in the 25-man squad in case that did happen. Unfortunately, it has happened. He wasn't in the 25-man squad and he is being sent out on loan to Wigan Wanderers, who I hope he has a very good uh, sort of loan move to, and I hope he goes on and scores the goals for him, them, should I say, and I hope he goes on to smash a couple past Sunderland along the way, which would be a good feeling for him. And uh, yeah, he's going to play you know, regular games of football down at Wickham on a Saturday to Tuesday, Saturday to Tuesday, and uh, that's the sort of games that he needs to be playing week in, week out, because the lad, no doubt, is a talent. He's got the pace, he just lacks in the final third. But then again, you could say that for, for most of our players at Newcastle, such as Atsu, you know, such as Richie at times. But then again, you know, it's only going to be good, you know, for his football and career. But I also believed at the same time he should have went to the championship. But then again, I'm not the one who makes the decisions, it's the club. And um, if he does have a successful loan deal at Wigan Wanderers, he comes back in January, then I hope that maybe he's got a chance of trying to get a, a move to the championship to sort of end the season and sort of progress from there because I believe that again he's too good for League One maybe I'm disrespecting League One but I believe he's just a step above that and um, obviously we'll only find out between now and uh, January when he's hit Wickham uh, what happens you know then obviously he's going to be uh, making friends with you know who Akin Benwa um, if you know him from like your FIFA days and uh, you know YouTube days and that so uh, yeah good luck around Aaron's I really hope it works out for you you know, at Wigan Wanderers, and uh, hopefully you, you go on and uh, make a success of where you are. I think the window does close uh, around about 11, 12 o'clock for uh, any loan deals. So if there is any from Newcastle, I will let you know down below uh, in the comments if any more followed through, or I might just do a video tomorrow. If not, then you will see the review for the uh, month's games just gone in August. Okay, so if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. I will.